Rod Stewart is a renowned British singer-songwriter, largely popular in the US and the UK. After having brief stints with various bands, he got his first slice of success with the Jeff Beck group and eventually rose to prominence with the band, Faces, introducing the blues rock genre. Along with a group career, he launched his solo career and released albums that infused rock, RVEB, soul music and folk music. Some of his best-selling albums included Every Picture Tells a Story, Never a Dull Moment, Blondes Have More Fun, Tonight I'm Yours, Atlantic Crossing, and Great American Songbook Series. He became a household name with some of his chart-topping singles, such as Maggie May, Tonight's the Night, Do You Think I'm Sexy, Have I Told You Lately, and Downtown Train, with his signature raspy singing voice. During his over five-decade career, he became a superstar in the rock and pop genre, giving numerous solo hit singles across the world, especially in the UK and the US. With over 130 million records sold worldwide, he is regarded as one of the best-selling British singers of all time. He has been honored with several awards for his services to music. Childhood v. Early Life Roderick David Stewart was born on January 10, 1945, in Highgate, North London, to Scottish father Robert Stewart and English mother Elsie Gilbart. After failing to clear his 11-plus exam at Highgate Primary School, he was enrolled at William Grimshaw Secondary Modern School, Hornsey. He learned playing the guitar at the age of 14 and started performing on hit songs of Lonnie Donegan and Chaz McDevitt with his school friends in a skiffle group, Cool Cats. After quitting school at 15, he took up odd jobs to support his family, working as a silk screen printer, newspaper delivery boy, grave digger, and fence erector. Career Starting 1961, he worked with different bands, namely, Jimmy Powell V.E. The Five Dimensions, Hoochie Coochie Men, Steam Packet, and Shotgun Express, and had his share of flop releases. He joined Jeff Back Group in 1967 as a vocalist, and got his first dose of success. In 1968, the heavy blues rock group rose to popularity with their first album Truth, which reached number 15 on the US Albums Chart. The group disbanded after the release of its second album Bacola in 1969. Soon after, he joined the English band, Faces, and released its debut album First Step in 1970. He launched his solo career with his debut album An Old Raincoat Won't Let You Down in 1969, followed by Gasoline Alley in 1970. The band got its first top 40 hit with the single Stay With Me from a Nod is as good as a wink. To a Blind Horse in 1971. His thriving solo career aroused tensions within the band which continued while touring in 1972. The release of his chart-topping 1973 album Never a Dull Moment added to the fury. In 1973, the band recorded their final album, Ooh La La, after which they embarked a world tour and broke up in 1975. In 1975, he shifted bass to Los Angeles and recorded hit albums A Night on the Town, 1976, and Footloose V.E. Fancy Free, 1977, with singles Tonight's the Night and You're in My Heart topping the music charts. His 1981 platinum album Tonight I'm Yours included elements of new wave and sniff pop, after which his career started slowing down. He bounced back with his 1988 album Out of Order with its entire singles hitting the Billboard Hot 100, while his single Downtown Train from Storyteller, 1989, reached number 3 on Billboard Hot 100. He recorded an MTV Unplugged concert with Ronnie Wood in 1993, which resulted in the top-selling album Unplugged and Seated, featuring the hit single Have I Told You Lately. His other albums included A Spanner in the Works, 1995, If We Fall in Love Tonight, 1996, When We Were the New Boys, 1998, and The Story So Far, The Very Best of Rod Stewart, 2001. He recorded four volumes of the Great American Songbook series, It Had to Be You, 2002, As Time Goes By, 2003, Stardust, 2004, and Thanks for the Memory, 2005, with remakes of the classic songs of 1930s and 1940s. In 2010, he recorded a fifth edition of the Great American Songbook series, Fly Me to the Moon. He published his autobiography Rod, the autobiography in 2012, following which he released his Billboard Adult Contemporary chart topper Let It Snow. Let It Snow. Let It Snow. 
Major Works In 1971, his third solo album Every Picture Tells a Story, featuring the single Maggie May, made him a superstar overnight with both the album and single topping the charts in the US and the UK. His 1978 album Blondes Have More Fun blended disco with his music formula, evident from his smash hit single Do You Think I'm Sexy, which sold over 4 million albums and topped the Billboard album charts. In 1975, he released his chartbuster album Atlantic Crossing, featuring the top UK hit single Sailing, which remains his best-selling single in the UK till date. Awards v Achievements In 1971, his single Maggie May was included in the 500 songs that shaped rock and roll at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He won the Outstanding Contribution to Music Award at the Brit Awards in 1993. In 1994, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and made a Guinness Book of World Record for performing the largest free rock concert attracting 4.2 million people at Copacabana Beach, Rio de Janeiro. He won the Grammy Award for Stardust. The Great American Songbook Vol. 3 in the Best Traditional Pop Vocal Album category in 2005. He received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2005, and was inducted into the UK Music Hall of Fame in 2006. In 2007, he received his Order of the British Empire Medal towards his contribution to music. He was voted number 17 on the list of Billboard Hot 100 All-Time Pop Artists by Billboard magazine in 2008. He was ranked number 33 and number 59 in the top 100 greatest singers of all time by Q Magazine and Rolling Stone respectively. Personal Life VE Legacy In 1962, he had a brief affair with London art student, Susanna Buffy, which ended after the birth of their daughter, Sarah Streeter, in 1963, who was put up for adoption. He had two children from his first marriage to Alana Hamilton in 1979, daughter Kimberly Alana Stewart, 1979, and son Sean Roderick Stewart, 1980. The couple divorced in 1984. He fathered a daughter, Ruby Stewart, 1987, from his model girlfriend Kelly M. Bird, whom he romanced during 1983 to 1990. He married model Rachel Hunter in 1990, and had two children, daughter Renee Cecily Stewart, 1992, and son Liam McAllister Stewart, 1994. The duo separated in 1999 and divorced in 2006. He started dating cover girl turned photographer Penny Lancaster in 1999 and had a son, Alastair Wallace Stewart, in 2005. The couple married in 2007 and had another son, Aidan Patrick Stewart, in 2011. He was diagnosed with thyroid cancer in 2000 and underwent successful surgery soon after. Net worth. Rod Stewart has a net worth of about $235 million.